Of course. Alrighty. It is time to go confront, or well, not confront, have a conversation with the marshal. Hope my security is good enough for any assault he's gonna launch. There he is. Marshal Forwin. It's good to see you again. Actually, do you mind if I check in with my chamberlain first? Or steward? My lady, you've received a letter. Delivered with some urgency, as it happens. I thought the messenger might swoon, poor dear. I see. Oh, this is about the White Marsh, isn't it? It's from Stalwart. Apparently the mayor, Renengild, has heard of your success here at Cadnua, and hopes you can be of aid to her people as well. Okay. Uh, that's a long way for a letter. People like you come few and far between. And in this case, I believe Renengild is correct in suggesting that your experiences here may give you an edge. I see, I see. It seems she's intent on gaining access to Durgan's battery. And she's offering quite the reward to anyone who can get inside. Durgan's battery? I don't think that rings a bell. But it also feels like it should. A reward, she says, for getting into the battery. <laughs> That's a reward of its own, surely. Well, if Kana says so, it must be quite the uh, historical find. Which is enough on its own, perhaps. Durgan's battery, as in the source of Durgan's steel? Ah, the very same. All manner of people have been trying to infiltrate the keep for years. Our own Earl was much taken with the story of the battery's fall. I see. There are many legends concerning the battery. As the Earl told it, the dwarves fought amongst themselves, each seeking to use the battery to further his or her own ambitions. So, is this like a forge? Is it abandoned? Do people currently own slash occupy it? Greed and cruelty oh, brought down is. the battery. Yeah. And now the spirits of those same dwarves roam the halls. Right. I feel like I did hear something about Durgan. Whatever happened, the battery has been impenetrable ever since. A shame. I don't doubt that there are great treasures still within those halls. Now, are these the kinds of treasures I should really wait until later to go and try and get? Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll play Stalwart to a visit. I do enjoy vast amounts of wealth. <laughs> perhaps I'll pay Stalwart a visit. I'm sure the wonders of the battery are a, marvel, are a marvel to behold. But if the passes through White March were to open again, it would be a bo it would be boon to merchants of the republics. And the Darewood, of course. Oh yeah, I imagine so. It's a shortcut, right? I should mention that among those rumored to have answered Renningild's summons is a certain group I believe you may have an interest in. It's not the leaden key, is it? Followers of Woodica, intent on reaching Stalwart and the Battery. I do not know what they seek there, hmm. but I thought it worth mentioning, given your interest in the ruins at Defiance Bay. Yeah, it's a good call there. Maybe I'll make a detour there sooner rather than later. I feel like I should finish up finding these ruins in the Darewood first, though. You know, report to the Duke. And then we can go and deal with this um, this problem. Now that I've delivered Renengild's message, there is also a local matter of some concern, my lady. What would that be, steward? A mercenary band has been sighted to the northeast. I believe they mean to take Consul Hot's tower, and I don't expect the Archmage will go quietly. That would be a problem. Consul Hot's one of the greatest wizards of our generation! Damn. Aleth fidgets and flutters. Vacillating between anxiety and excitement, he appears to be at a loss for words. Well, should we, um, go assist him, or does he even need our assistance? The Torn Bannermen are a deadly fighting force, and Consul Hot himself has sent many travelers to their graves. I'll bet. I would caution you to stay clear of the region if you do travel to the White March. I see, I see. 
It's not that I doubt your courage, my lady. But Consul Hot alone boasts power of a different scale altogether to those foes you have faced thus far. Oh, I believe it. Given more time, perhaps you will match him. Yeah, a lot of time, yeah. If the Bannermen succeed in their efforts, I fear they may turn their attention to Cad Nua. I will keep you apprised of the situation, my lady. I see. I have the feeling that I shouldn't ignore this, but also that I'm way out of my depths. I wonder if this is just setting up uh, events for Pillars of Eternity 2. Do you know anything about these mercenaries? Little enough, I'm afraid. The Torn Bannermen are well supplied and well organized, Let's and there see. are rumors that they are backed by an unknown benefactor. They have proved remarkably effective in the past, and they are certainly a threat now. Yeah, this sounds much bigger than just a simple one-off quest. Who is Consul Hart exactly? A famed archmage. I am given to understand that the Brackenberry Sanitarium puts much stock in his work. Oh, wow. As regards the manipulation of the soul, his spells are widely circulated. Now, is he an archmage or a cipher, or maybe studies both paths <laughs> or maybe he's a uh, archmage and an animancer but he is poorly regarded in many circles some call him a madman or else cruel and barbarous hmm. he must be very old by now perhaps that is why the torn bannermen believe they can best him maybe but on the other hand age when it comes to archmages are uh, usually means they're just stronger now So I'm not sure I, I'll put much stock into uh, rumors. Not without seeing him from my own eyes, but uh, alrighty, farewell. Safe travels, my lady. Thank you, steward. Now, the actual normal report. Seems your fame is spreading, my lady. I have heard travelers speaking of your accomplishments in Defiance Bay. Thank you. If you'll forgive me saying so, it is a relief to find the keep in the command of someone more connected to the world. It's so easy to let things fall by the wayside. And what is the state of the keep? People are starting to notice your hard work. I dare say we'll have more visitors shortly. I'm glad you decided to stay on, my lady. It's been difficult watching this place tumble into, ca into decay time and again. To see it restored is... I can imagine the great crowds, the petitioners, music perhaps, in the evenings. Oh, I've gotten carried away, haven't I? Here's the report. Thank you. That's all I wanted. The Siege of Cragholt. Alright. And Marshal Forwin, what did you have to say? Lady Gwyneth. Marshal. I've received word that Lord Gathbin is amassing an army of mercenaries near Yenwood Field. It appears a peaceful claim to Kednua is no longer possible. Well, can't be the Lord if I can't, or well, the Lady. If I can't, um... Can't hold it. The Earl has sent me to aid you in forming your own force to counter this threat. Oh, thank you. I'm here, in an, I'm here in an advisory role only, of course. The Earl won't take a f won't officially take sides in this dispute. Um, well, the Earl won't officially legitimize my claim because a lord unable to hold their land is worthless, not a true lord at all. How much time do I have? Enough. It's rumored Lord Gathman is, will suffer a series of unfortunate and completely unforeseeable setbacks among his army uh, before his army is complete. <laughs> he grins and winks. Still, I'm not Terry Long. <laughs> I like you, and the Earl. Uh, actually, that's probably all the Marshal. <laughs> um, I have a fortress with strong walls. Why not let Gathman's army come to me? Lord Gathbin isn't fool enough to risk tearing down Kednua just to kill you. And if you shield yourself behind these walls, 
will have free reign to torment your subjects in the countryside. Yeah, fair enough. Earl Badmar will see your inaction against Lord Gathman as a sign that you're unwilling to perform your duties as Lord of Kednua. Losing his support will have dire consequences. Taking the fight to Lord Gathman is your only option. And I already kind of know the answer, but I'll ask it anyways. Why won't the Earl officially legitimize my claim? It is a delicate situation. Legally, Lord Gathbin's claim is just, and he knows it. Stripping land and title from a noble family is quite dangerous, perhaps more so than killing the man outright. With Gathbin dead, the Earl only need worry about blood vengeance from family members that actually cared for Lord Gathbin. Those, if court gossip is to be believed, are few and far between. I see, I see. Losing a family claim to land and title, though? Such disputes incite hatred from the entire clan and their political allies, not to mention the unease it causes among the, amongst the other nobles. Wars are started for less. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. There are many political factors to consider. No, if Gathbin is to be denied, it will be you who must prove your legitimacy to the Earl and all others who would dispute your claims. That is what it means to be noble in the Darewood. Yep, that's about what I thought it would sum up to. Their hands are kind of tied, and also, I have to prove my claim by proving my ability to hold my claim. Let's talk about my army. The Marshal nods. Where am I getting my troops? I've sent out a call for volunteers from the lands around Kednua. Hopefully, people will realize that being under your rule is preferable to that of Lord Gathbin's. Hopefully, I would take offense if uh, people thought my rule was um worse than Lord Gathbin's. Any hireling station at Kednua will also accompany you to the battle, so I suggest you acquire as many of them as possible. However, most of these men and women have no military experience. Hopefully you, have Hopefully you can gain additional allies. The Knights of the Crucible, perhaps. Or the Dozens. Um, I could maybe get the Crucible Knights on my side. If I have enough time. What's the status of my regular troops? Marshall shakes his head. Too green and too few. If you go up against Lord Gathbin now, losses will be heavy. However, victory is still possible. And what special allies do I have available? He shakes his head. No one has offered their help, I'm afraid. It may be possible to find an ally in Defiance Bay among the Knights of the Crucible. Dozens. Or if you're truly desperate, House Stormanel. I'm not going to seek House Stormanel. I am planning on staying as far away from them as possible. I've also heard rumor of a force of Red Cairns currently in the White Marsh. Hmm. If you find your way that far north, perhaps you can sway some of them to join our cause. I see. So, we need to recruit some veteran troops. I know a company or two of veterans that would be willing to join us for a bit of coin. I'd say 10,000 coppers should cover the expense. I'll think about it. That's all for now. Very well. So I have some time to gather my allies and marshal my forces. That's good. Mm, earning good taxes. Looks a little healthier than before. Losing not too much to bandits. Um. Oh, good. The construction has been completed. So. Yeah, that's the thing is. My taxes are good, but, um. They are going. Well, the amount I lose goes down with security. The amount I, I gain goes up with prestige, I believe. Should definitely be focusing on prestige right now, I think. Should I restore Bright Hollow? No, that's already completed. 
Let's see, the Bailey would give us prestige, surprisingly no security. It's only two days as well. Towers would give me the same prestige, but also a bit of security. Also, the perception bonus is nice. I'll upgrade the Bailey before the library. The dungeons are tempting. I'm still unsure as who all I can uh, take prisoner. The merchant cells would also be nice. A lot of these can wait. Well, these three are mostly, I think, just for uh, appearances' sake. Um, the Warden's Lodge is complete. Good. I think the Bailey... Ooh, the chapel gets us a lot of prestige. prestige. Yeah, I think the Bailey should be next. Where is the Warden's Lodge exactly? Is it over there? I might need to actually leave. Or I see the Warden's Lodge restored, actually. Maybe I'll just rest. There we go. A supplicant has arrived from Gilded Vale, seeking 270 copper or an escort. Um, ignored minus three prestige plus zero security for three days. No, no, no. Let's, um, let's send an escort. All right, looking at the map. So there's the White March, of course. There's Cragholt Bluffs, Radrick's Hold, Pilantless, which I did kind of want to go back to. At some point. How far away is that? A day and 14 hours. Um, there's the Yenwood Fields. Are they not visible? Probably either just north of us or just south of us. Yeah, we're going to head to Kalent List. I'm really, I've been meaning to go back to see it. To see that uh, device. Now that, especially now that I can actually read ruins probably nothing here for us actually but yeah a massive stone structure covered in strange glyphs the air around it vibrates with an unusual energy the bodies are gone Unfortunately, it looks like they have nothing here for us. Oh, well. While we're over here, um... Where was it we needed to go for... for Palagina? It was in the Twin Elms? Okay. That's way over there. Not something to really worry about right now, then. Um, way back to Kednua, Wood End Plains, and then the Deer Ford. Mm, looks a little healthier than before. Mostly wanted to see if I could spot the warden. Yeah, it is. I just needed to leave. Warden's Lodge to appear. Let's go ahead and maybe the tower's next. I would like that perception bonus. Let's 
reception is the nicest. Or the dungeons. Nah, let's go with the towers first. Get that perception bonus and that, um, it's like basically the final real defensive structure that we need. Except for, I guess, the training grounds, but that's hardly a real defensive structure. There's Warden Fergan. You ever hear about the bounties? This field journal contains sketches of Admeth's wort, Durkap, and other common plants. Oh. One glass eye and several teeth are missing from the scolder head. You don't mind if I grab some fruit, do you? Thank you. Hello! This grizzled old man takes a puff from his pipe and nods at you. Was wondering when you'd be dropping by. Kith around here have been hit with more than their share of trouble of late. I'm up to my ear and bounty offers. Figured at least one of these might interest someone with your skills. What are the most recent bounties? Now, I ought to warn you. There is a reason these bounties are still on offer. These are tough bastards, every one of them. If you're not up to it now, feel free to come back around when you're better prepared. In the meantime, here's a good batch to start us off. Here's the standing, standing bounty on Sly uh, Kyrdell's head. Of course. Then there's the forest lurker haunting the trade routes. And this ogre shaman should fetch a good price. And a blast is one... Ah... War Chief Iklak. Well, I want to know about Sly Kirdell. This bounty comes all the way from New Haomar. Sly Kirdell and some of his accomplices have escaped the prison there. And killed two just, uh, justiciars on the way out. Hmm. Damn. The guards are itching after revenge. A man matching his description has been seen near Mogren's Fork. He's well-armed, and he'll have his friends with him, too. I see. Tell me about this forest lurker. Let's see. Word is this big forest lurker's taken up residence in the Black Meadow, just off the main road. The merchants have been calling it the Dweller, and they want it gone before it starts chewing up their caravans. Tell me about the war chief. War Chief Iklok. He's a Sharip. Oh. Okay, I've fought them before. They really like to swarm, which makes them troublesome. If the name didn't tip you off, he moves around a lot, but he's known to hunt the Vale Wood from time to time. Folks want him dealt with before he takes up with a dragon. Fair enough. And what about the ogre? That one that that's the one that keeps making the rounds. Nalren the Wise. He's some kind of ogre shaman. They say he's raided a half dozen farms all over the Deerwood. Word is he's holed up somewhere in Esh Elmshore, though nobody who went looking has been seen since. Thank you. I wonder how difficult these bounties are. It keeps what? coming along nicely. I wonder if I should try one of them. You know, while I'm also here, hirelings. Um, oh, a vanguard soldier. What does that mean? I wonder. Forty copper, ten per day, and then warden of the wilds. Um. that a vagabond would get us prestige. Let's, um... Let's try hiring that, uh... Vanguard soldier. I'm curious about them. Oh, no, that's the one I already have. Silly me. That's what it meant. He's already hired. Um... I suppose I could go for another... Shock mage. 
We currently get um, 866 copper or so. 500 to 800 copper, we'll say. And then hireling payday, 50 copper. What's the rate of pay to, um, to hireling, uh, or to, uh, from uh, tax collection to hireling pay? Honestly, it looks like taxes are collected more often than the hirelings are paid. So this one was, there were two between the last one and this one. And then one, two, hireling payday. Yeah. And then one, wait, that one had well, it Regardless of the actual rate, it does seem that the uh, rate of hiring pay to the uh, rate of tax collection is slightly different. I think I can afford to hire a Valian Shock Mage, at the very least. And what the hell, let's get a Vagabond Scald or a Skirmish Archer. And Gold Pack Knight. I do want the prestige as well as the security. Maybe a Brathite Cleric. Gold Packed Knight. Mm. We'll call this good for the moment. All right, let's try and see the Dweller. I at least want to get a good sense for how uh, dangerous these bounties are. Um, in the Black Meadow. Oh boy, it's nighttime. Um, well. Nice and quiet. We'll see if we can't sneak up on it. Well, that's a greater earth blight. Um, there's a... Hmm. Where's the forest lurker, though? No. Shoot. Well, these are probably what we're after. Oh, yeah, there it is. The dweller. Um... All right, Adair, get on over there. Good. Halogena, come and uh, try and take down the troll at least. We can hold nothing back here. Now... Should I go for the Black Pulse or should I go for the Minor Grimoire Imprint? Um... Maybe I'll go for delet deleterious alacrity of motion first. And let's also get an interdiction in here early. Gwyneth, have you already shot your uh, gun? Looks like you must have. Let's get a um, sound screen, pain block. No, let's get a uh, pain link. Edir. Okay. Ooh, Aloth, what happened to you? Why? When? Where are you? He's back there. Oh, looks like you've got the Alacrity of Motion there. Activated. Let's get the Minor Grimoire Imprint. You have to cast it on someone? Oh, it steals three spells. 
I totally misunderstood how that works. Shoot, well, I still like the alacrity of motion anyways. Um, this will be less useful for this fight. Anna, you want to target this troll here? Or this troll here, maybe? Hey, you don't come for us, troll. I can target this troll instead. He's still casting? Or not. It looks like you're trying, but you haven't. It's weird. Okay, we've got the pain lock uh, already down. Let's get a speaker to the restless here. Ow! What the hell was that? I need a... You already used it. Why the hell did you use it already? So much for you. What the hell spell is this? Plague of insects. Yikes. Summon a literal plague. Damn it! We gotta take better care of them. Um, yeah. I think, uh... We've learned how dangerous this is. The, uh... You wish. We can try one more time, but yeah, the, uh... The warden was correct. And what does the flame reveal? Lights. Um, the men, uh, these guys, the trees, they are the uh, biggest problem. All right, it'd be best if I could send in just Ed here at first. Hey, um, you're not getting through me. All right, and get over there. <laughs> Um, all right. Pelagina, come forward and attack. Can you even use your, uh... No, don't use that on the Great Earth, but we want to... Where'd it be? There it is. Is it running away? I'm... No, it's coming to us. Go ahead and use that on, um... One of these things. And then... All of you. You can give up on that. I'm gonna speak for the restless immediately this time. And. Have an interdiction immediately as well. Kana, I'm gonna have you attack that guy there. Same with you, Gwyneth. And Aloth. Um, maybe the pole. What? How we doing? Is it almost dead? Not quite. Uh, it looks like you might have successfully cast it. Fantastic. Um, now, what I want from you is a fireball. Please. Looks like you're going to hit... Edir and... Uh, Pelagina, but that's probably fine. 
Kalajina. Can you hit that, um... I can't really see where you are. Yeah, I get the men. The men pee. Alright, and for us, we are going to go with a silent scream. Fantastic. Did us did we interrupt the uh, swarm of insects? Wonderful. Wait, Gwyneth is confused or the uh the um, the the men pee is confused. Oh, very nice. And the troll is on our side? No, that's uh, that's her. Um Heal yourself. Heal yourself. Um, Durance, you're not in range to do anything. I'm not. In range of both of them? Looks like you are. Good. Aloth. Why don't I have you give me... Magic missiles on. We take one of them out? No, that one is still not quite there yet. Actually, no. Just give me this. This should do the trick. And we'll also get another. Wait, have you not used this yet? Come on. Attack. Oh, because she's confused, right. Why don't you lay on hands on yourself? Get another arcane strike in here. Kana! Wonderful. Why don't you freeze them all for me? Uh, you're gonna need to get closer. There we go. Very nice. Now, Durrance. I like Shining Beacon. Right there. Gwyneth, I think we're gonna have you keep attacking. Let's see, do we have, we taken out the other mage? It looks like we did. Fantastic. Um, attack that troll. Actually, attack that so one. Nice for you. Of a master, secret horrors, pain link. Uh, let's go for another silent scream, actually. Fantastic work. You're paralyzed. But once you're not, finish off that earth blight there. Aloth, you aren't doing anything right now, are you? You wanna give me a fireball here? Well 27 to 37 burn damage. You guys weak to fire? Let's just do it anyways. Durrance. Give me... Pillar of... Faith. That was an AoE, doesn't it? Ooh. Yeah, let's do Watchful Presence, actually. That'll be very nice. Good emergency button here. Uh, 
Arcana. Let's see. Looks like that troll is down. Flame Blight. So it's just the one Flame Blight plus the Dweller. All right. You two attack it. I think we have enough here. Heal yourself. Um, let's get the magic missiles on it. Durrance, why don't you get a barbs of condemnation on it? It's near death. Good. Fell down and everything. Um. So much for you. Gotcha. All right, everyone. If you fantastic. So the answer to the question is very dangerous, but doable. There's the Dweller's head, in a bag, of course. This burlap sack contains the head of the forest lurker known as the Dweller. Oh, we what got is level it? Two. Oh, Aloth. Try to give you more lore. More athletics, perhaps. It is always nice to have that sudden endurance boost for anyone. Or more stealth, even. Or survival. Survival is nice. Damage reduction from survival is nice. Requires quite a few points to start getting a lot out of it, but still. All right, I was a bit confused on the previous fourth level spell I took, the uh, one that allows us to steal spells, but it'll still be useful if we ever fight a mage, I suppose. Um, Mora's writhing tentacles might still be good. Alternatively, iron skin. Or, choose a number of these that are actually pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Minoletta's Concussive Missiles, I think. This time. Ooh, Arcane Veil. Conjures a protective shield of magic, dramatically boosting the wizard's deflection. Twice per rest, plus 50 deflection for 14 seconds. That's a pretty hefty bonus there. I like that a lot. Bonus third level spell would be nice, of course, but I think that Arcane Veil is a too good of an emergency button. If he just leveled up, our others were probably pretty close too. But, like I said, we actually are intending to head to Dareford Village. <laughs> so, next up is... Well, I'll rest in Kednua after that fight, and then we're headed to the Wood End Plains in Dareford. I'm sorry if I was a little tactless before. Oh? About your being a watcher. Oh, no, it's I fine. I didn't really understand what was involved. Is it hard, hearing the spirits all the time? It's a bit weird. Get a little used to it. You're asking if I've cracked yet. <laughs> no. Um, it's actually been fairly useful. There's no denying that the dead make for excellent sources of information at times. <laughs> Sorry. At any rate, we're bound to find a solution for this. You can count on my help until we do. Thank you, Kana. And is that not just because you find it fascinating, is it? Even though you surely do. Well, thank you nonetheless. 
Oh. The wooded, uh, the wood end plains. This is where we met Sagani. Fun. Good old memories. All right, here we are. Oh, no, we need to go to Stormwall Gorge first. Right. Actually, I think I could have gone directly to Stormwall Gorge. Huh. Oh, well. Here we are. Stormwall Gorge. I wonder if it's always storming. Hence the name. Well. Fast deer. Does look like it's actually about time for us to call it here for today. But. Next time we will explore the Stormwall Gorge. And head off. Well. We'll, we'll, store, we'll explore the Stormwall Gorge. It'll probably be the... We're progressing slowly and but surely to the uh, the Durwood village.